Hi, it's Kimberly here. I wanted to say welcome to Optavia, and I'm so glad that you trusted me to help you along in your health journey. I know the first Optavia box has arrived, and that can sometimes be a little bit overwhelming because it's a lot of stuff with 22 boxes of fueling. So I wanted to just take a quick minute to tell you how I've sort of tackled my first box and how I've organized myself um, while I've been on plan. Uh, you know that the fuelings come in boxes similar to this, and each box contains seven fuelings. And what I've tended to do is um, take the packets or bars out, and I use a, one bin and just try to keep it simple. And within the bin, I have organized my fuelings into categories to make it quick and easy for me to pull from them during the day. So I have shakes. Um, bars, I have desserts, which are like brownies and puddings, uh, things that are savory, like mac and cheese. Um, I have my own category for potatoes because I use those a lot. So what it allows me to do is just go quickly into my pantry in the morning and pull my five fuelings for the day and lay them on my kitchen counter. And then I look at my schedule for the day and if I know I'm going to be out and about for two or three of my fuelings with meetings or work, I take those and put them um, you know, in my bag for the day. And so it just, it's made me very purposeful and I know that I'm gonna get my five fuelings in. A few of the other things that are in the box when it, that first box arrives is uh, an Optavia shaker bottle. These are perfect for the shakes. Um, they're awesome to have in your car because you can go ahead and carry it with water to your desk or your car and then when you're ready to have your shake, uh, for your fueling that day, all you have to do is dump it in. I like to add a few ice cubes and then shake it really, really well. It has like a metal shaker bottle in it that you just shake. Um, I ordered a couple more of these from Amazon in a slightly larger size. I think the brand is actually called Blender Bottle. And um, it's nice to have multiple because I use them sometimes twice a day and they're, you know, they're always on rotation through my dishwasher. Uh, the other thing that is in that first box that's critical is your guide to Optavia. So this is sort of your beginner Bible for the plan. And I encourage you to read all the way through this uh, as you're getting started on the program. But the go-to pages in a pinch are these green pages in the middle of the book. I think it's page 16 thereabouts. And what this talks about is how to tackle your one lean and green meal that you'll eat each day. Uh, your lean and green is your lean protein and that falls into a category of lean, leaner, or leanest. And so it'll tell you how many ounces you're allowed of each of those proteins, and then kind of write down for you how the vegetable servings fit into that. And it's a great resource. I took a picture of this and have it in my phone and just kind of reference this a lot. So um, as far as keeping track of what you're eating, uh, something else that I did in the beginning of my plan was to download an app called Meal Replacer. It's a blue icon that looks like a blender on the front, and it's designed towards uh, the Optavia plan. It's, it's got your five uh, fuelings that you can check mark throughout the day. It sends you alert reminders every 2.5 hours to remind you to eat your next fueling. Um, so if you enter it when you eat it, um, then it helps keep you on track. It also tracks your hydration, which is the next thing I wanted to mention. Um, I use my Yeti a lot because it keeps it cold. Um, a lot of people have the big water bottles that have like a gallon or half gallon of water with motivational markers throughout the day. Um, whatever gets you motivated to drink more water because the goal is eight, eight ounce glasses per day. Um, I try to shoot for at least 10 to 12 and then, you know, there's days I may fall short and only get to eight, but at least I get to my eight because it's a very important part of uh, processing all the protein, vitamins, and minerals that are packed into these foods. Um, the foods do have, the fuelings do have everything you need in them as far as vitamins, minerals, and probiotics. And so um, they are wonderful. You will see immediate changes in your skin, your hair, and a whole host of other things. So that's kind of what comes in that first box. And I wanted to take a quick second too to talk about a couple of things that are sort of tips and tricks that uh, were shared with me early on that I still use and love. Uh, this little guy is called a dash griddle. It's little and tiny, but the fuelings are not very big and they don't need to be because you know I eat them and I'm not hungry and then 2.5 hours, two to three hours later, it's time for another one. These are found on Amazon and they come in, I just have the griddle one, but there's also one that's a, a waffle maker. I like to use this primarily for the uh, creamy potatoes. 
I cook them partway in the microwave and then I like to griddle them. It kind of browns them a little bit and makes a griddle cake. They're really good like that and they're good to top with a few vegetables. Um, there's a lot of creative ways that people use these, um, but they're nice to have and you can grab them on Amazon. I think it was right at $20. And then the other kind of little personal item I have is a mini crock pot. This is one I got years ago for free when I bought my big crock pot. I know they have other more colorful versions of personal crock pots available online, but this has been great for fuelings that are like pasta based, like the pesto, basil pesto mac and cheese is a good example, or the soup, something like that that's just, um, in my personal opinion, it's, it's just more satisfying and is, is more true to being a pasta when it cooks slowly over a little bit of time in the crock pot versus following the microwave directions. You can certainly pop it in the microwave and eat it, but I personally find it to be better when I take the time to do those in the crock pot. So if I know my next fueling up for the day is going to be a soup or a pasta, I tend to you know, do it in my mini crock pot and leave it on my counter until it's time to eat again in two to three hours. Um, I think that is enough information to get you started and going. And again, I'm excited uh, to have you on board. And if you have any questions at all in this first week, feel free to reach out and good luck.